For 15 years, New Jersey transplant Katie Parla has been a Rome-based food educator, author, and journalist with a passion for Italian cuisine and protecting local food culture. I'm down here a lot. I mean, I live in Rome. Naples yep. is now an hour high-speed train ride. Yep. So I'm down here at least twice a month. Can you just come down for, like, a pizza and head back to Rome? You'll take a four-hour car ride for pizza. Of course. Right. Wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> That's why <laughs> That's we're why we friends. Get along. <laughs> Katie Parla is a renowned food writer who swapped New Jersey for Rome almost 20 years ago. This is the Ex Matatoyo, the retired slaughterhouse. Right. And for about 100 years until the 1970s, it's where most large Roman animals were slaughtered. And Katie wants me to meet Sarah, a young chef with a growing reputation for doing amazing things with innards. We mangiare frittata throughout the day. Oh, yeah. Have it for breakfast, yeah. lunch, yeah. dinner, yeah. 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 I like it in a sandwich. Yes, in a sandwich. That's what I used to take when I was a kid to school. Yeah, very dull with that. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Katie. When a lot of people hear the word slice, they're thinking of a triangular piece of pizza that's cut from a big, round New York pie. But in Rome, we have pizza in teglia. And pizza in teglia is ubiquitous fast food, something that almost everyone can afford. I'm Katie Parla. I'm a cookbook author, food writer, lecturer, historian. I'm a journalist. And I live in Rome, Italy. Katie Parla's Rome takes you on a delicious food tour through the Eternal City. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god is right. Yeah. Dang. Oh, it's so dangerous. This is so hot, but it's not going to stop me from eating it. I'm Katie Parla, author of Food of the Italian South, a cookbook about five regions in South Italy. The stuffing should look a little browned. The tomatoes are nicely shriveled. There's a little bit of sort of oily, juicy sauce at the bottom. These are ready to eat. I love to do is put aside my stale bread and then make breadcrumbs with it, which I can use in all different ways. Um, and in the South, you often use it as almost like a substitute for cheese. So this mm -hmm. is going to be the topping. There you go. Uh, so just sea salt? Pasta. Yeah, sea salt, oregano, olive oil, and just mix it up. Positano, Amalfi, Ravello, those are really driven by tourism. Mm -hmm. So you'll find restaurants that are open all day serving spaghetti bolognese, which like, <laughs> isn't really even a thing. Um, it kills you, doesn't it, it? It makes me like physically yeah, I know. ill. And this one, I want to incorporate some of that like liquidy sauce at the bottom. Nice. He also put a lot of grated pecorino on top of it, so I want to get that in the mix too. Which I love. Come in through. Thank you. Supli are essentially tomato meat sauce, risotto, packed around a mozzarella heart, and then that's breaded and fried. That's what everyone expects. At Pizzarium, Gabrielli really elevates it substituting pasta for rice, and that makes it really special. I mean, pizza in Italy is so diverse and every city has their own approach, or sometimes like in Rome, we've got four different pizza styles, mm -hmm. and wading through that is really complicated. So I ate all the pizza, and that way people can like really focus on what will inspire them in their own restaurants. Yeah. And when action was rolling through town, we decided to get together. I insisted on taking them on a street food tour. So, so delicious. It's crazy. What'd you get? The Same thing? thing? It is, is it not crazy? Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. It's crazy. I never, ever would have put these together. I, really? I thought that this was something that people know about, no? I'm Katie Parla. I'm a Rome-based food writer. And today, I'm looking for Rome-inspired pizza in New York City. In Rome, you would never, ever find a pizza pre-sliced. So this is, I think, where the Roman style and the New York style need to differ. I'm Katie Parla in Venice. I just pulled into a canal in Conoreggio with my little silly boat, Laura. I like Sunday suppers because it's a chance for my friends who have quite crazy work schedules to get together, bring over wine, and we just sort of make a day out of it. I'm gonna season the inside of the zucchini and then stuff the cord zucchini with that meat mix. 